this is Lucy and welcome to another Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. Today I'm on Scarlet who is now level 57 and I'm ti I've titled this The Barn Dominium because I was reliably informed by an American <laughs> that what I had built was a barn dominium. Uh, in the UK I think that would be a barn conversion but I quite like the name. I thought it was a chapel but there we go. So. It's a converted building, so that's the idea behind it. So, without further ado, this is the building. Now, I have built this in the past. Um, before I had the glass pieces, I was using metal pieces to simulate glass pieces on the sides of the barn here. Today's video is just going to be the build. I'm going to do this video, this this how to build in two parts. So we're just going to build the basic building today. But I have decorated it and I thought I'd give you a tour. The patio surround goes all the way around but there is a block here because I've put a little bathroom in. Uh, there is an outside eating area. As you can see, I have used the little generators stacked up again. I have actually blueprinted that stack. There's plenty of space. You could put a vendor out here if you wanted. And the workshop is at the back here. There is also a back door, but we will go in the front. I have managed to get a gate on, um, the reason being is it will go between two foundations like this which is why there's that sort of step up there. So it's sort of a converted barn, warehouse, chapel, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> barn dominium has different sort of sectioned off areas um, so there's a reading nook a desk obviously the seating area here I put these pillars in and used the bookcases to create sort of a, a room divider from the kitchen area Obviously I've put an upstairs in, you don't need to put an upstairs in, it's up to you. You could just have it as one big open space. I've put a little bathroom in here. I have put a few things on this shelf unit. It was a bit tricky because these shelves are very deep. So you might want to experiment with different th stacking different things up. This is the back door. Upstairs there is a bedroom and a balcony. I've obviously double walled this wall so that you can have wallpaper on both sides. Oops. Playing too much arc. I get my keys confused. Right. This is the balcony. I would have liked to have turned the building 90 degrees. Um, but this area down here is very rocky. And I couldn't quite get the length of the building in. You could obviously make it shorter um, or longer even. I've put the glass triangular pieces in here because there are no windows in the bedroom. So it gives you some natural light without anyone being able to see in. So I quite like that. So this is the build. 
Um, I am going to go away and um, move my camp widget and then come back here. As much as I like this building spot, I actually think that possibly the next video I'm going to build somewhere else because I'm sort of getting a bit fed up with it to be honest. I feel like a change. So I will be right back. So here we have it. I'm going to move my camp widget out of the way. And I am going to store all of these pieces so that I have the pieces to remake it. Which might take a couple of minutes. <laughs> right, all the pieces are stored, so we're going to make a start. The main building itself is three wide and five long. Um, I have made it shorter before. If you're lacking space, you can make it um, three by four. Um, as previously mentioned, to get it straight with the road, I tend to line it up with this white line I'm going to use that one I think there on the left as the line for the patio so It's difficult when replicating something to make sure you had it in the same place. is five. One, two, three, four, five, is it? Might be six actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six. <laughs> Apparently I can't count. We'll put the front piece on. And we'll put the patio around. doesn't really matter which way these um, pieces go because I'm not going to be changing these floors I'm going to be using these floors obviously if you're going to be using a wooden floor I would suggest that you actually build it with those pieces now I've hit a little snag here So what I'm going to do is bring this down this way. Oops. Right, so the main building, one, two, three, four, five by three. There we go. Now I used the um, brick for this, but obviously it works. I've, I've made it in wood before. It works quite well. I've never made it with this set. I think I will play around when I do the decorating and show you what it looks like in different styles with different... We're not double walling this. just going to be the brick. You can double wall it obviously if you want. 
I use the double windows downstairs and I for the sort of tower bit at the front I used a single window. Be aware that if people have a jetpack they can jump through this window. <laughs> I don't think I can quite manage it on Scarlet. No, I can't quite manage it on Scarlet. I have got a marsupial, but I know I've done it with a jetpack. What you can do if you don't want to um, keep swapping is if you know where you're going to put the walls, you can just do this. And then we can put the windows in. That's going to be a doorway. I don't lock my camps. Um, not anymore. I think I did in the beginning. But because it's difficult for people to damage anything. Um, but if you're in a high level area where you're getting a lot of enemies, um, I've seen a bloat fly open a door before, so <laughs> it might be worth. Because the bathroom is internal, I am actually going to put double wall this. So I'm going to put two doors on there. So we can wallpaper the bathroom. I am going to quickly build this. Half wall, half wall, half wall. And it slopes away from you, so you want the triangle pi triangular pieces going sloping downwards like that. And we need if I can find that. I really wish they'd put pieces together. I don't know why some of the main pieces are away from the smaller pieces. get this sort of effect with the roof we need to put the triangular walls on first now obviously if you want a single building you can do this all the way along and just replicate this end at the other end but I like to have an upstairs and the upstairs is sort of pulled out at the sides so that you actually have a room that you can walk down or use um, otherwise it would just be one piece wide now because you have those roofs on you can now just stick the half walls and I am using the glass but as I said if you don't have the glass yet or if you haven't been doing this season you can just use metal half walls to get a similar effect obviously the glass does add something and it helps lighten up the room going to use the roof that has one closed end and one open end. Then the next one down should be open at both ends. And then back to open and closed. That now gives you
this part. As I said, if you want to make it smaller, just make that part two. Or you could even make it longer. Now, because I am going to double wall the upstairs wall, I'm going to show you a little trick if you're going to have a problem with um, having to move floors about with stairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stairs out here for now. Because if we double wall this, we're going to need to put extra pieces of floor on to support the second wall. If you don't want to double wall this piece upstairs, then simply place the ladder here and attach the ladder to this piece here, this back piece, because the stairs are sort of inset. You could, if you want, put the stairs in the middle. It's completely up to you guys, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so because I'm double walling it, I need, if I can get it to go on, piece there. Then, two doorways. Now, double walling triangular pieces, you are going to need a flamer trap or a friend who is happy to get into PvP with you. The other thing, the other interesting thing about this is, and I have tried this in numerous ways while building it the first time, is although the upper piece does not need to be double walled unless you do it this way I had problems I had problems getting getting this piece on so even though the flamer trap is probably going to break it we need to put this on first so right oh, I need my flamer trap I can find it with all the stuff in here. The reason I'm getting it out of stored is um let's have a look. Yeah, it won't let me build it. <laughs> or maybe it will. I don't know. It's white. If I take it out of stored, I don't have to put the cards on. Unfortunately, I have to find it. I'm really trying to get this done before it gets dark. When you want double sided um, triangular pieces it is worth repeating that this only works with the brick. I don't know why. <laughs> At least it doesn't matter. You will find it will probably destroy your roof and various other things but they are fairly easy to repair. Oh, it didn't actually. It sometimes destroys your roof. Right. So what we're going to do is... Oh! <laughs> Get 
our flamer trap back out because it didn't destroy the piece that we wanted it to. How strange. Let's try that again. As I said, if you don't have the flamer trap and you want it, the only way I know of to get the plan is to do um, Rose's quest and then do um, the quest at Abby's bunker. As you can see, it did actually destroy the roof that time. But that is fine, we can fix it. Right, it sometimes gets confusing about which piece you need to put down, but um, you're following the roof line, so it's this piece. I always do, I, <laughs> I got in a pickle when I first started using the flamer trap, I always have my walls facing inwards to start with. It's, qu it's not too difficult with the um, brick walls you can actually see, but with some of the other walls it can get a bit confusing about which one's which. So, right, hopefully this will work. I'm just going to repair this. I'm going to repair this. Repair the roof. Right, now I'm going to take these extra floors off. I'm going to turn this into a wall. And unfortunately we're going to need another ladder if you're careful with your ladder positioning you might be able to get away with <laughs> not like this of course where I've put the um, floor it's dependent on that piece that I want to remove so we'll just put a piece in here and yeah that should work now because it's connected I think We can put a ladder in here. I'm going to actually use this ladder, but whatever you like. And then we're going to remove these extra pieces of floor and the ladder. Then we have an upstairs which apparently I can't say, upstairs. I added a balcony onto this. Um, it's up to you, again, if you don't want the balcony. And the upstairs is all half walls and slope walls apart from the door. Okay. She used for the slope pieces I used the glass here like this sloped roofs got very dark 
and the closed and open ended ones like this and there you have it unfortunately I have tried this with different pieces you cannot get rid of this sort of border I don't actually know why they added the border to be honest it kind of makes sense in some ways but in some ways it doesn't really work I always think if you have these single roofs they ne they don't have a border on so if you're building a, a roof with three pieces it always looks odd at the top to me I don't like it so I would actually prefer that they take that in personally I'll be back to finish up once it gets a bit lighter so it's early the next morning and I'm back at the build um, I also have radworms <laughs> from going to the Nuka Cola factory to make something for the new Wastelanders quest um, I've decided to put Scarlet through the unending agony of Wastelanders which is my third playthrough because if I'm going to continue building on her and doing the building 101s I'm going to need things like crop plots so there you have that right most of the build is done the rest is pretty much optional I put these pillars in here in the middle spots rather than on the edges um, you could of course put the pillars wherever you want or not bother at all I did put pillars on the corners for the balcony because otherwise you can't get the fences in I think it looks a bit neater as well in this instance I think it's clouding over unfortunately as I've mentioned before for some reason whenever <laughs> I log into my server probably about 80% of the time it's 20 past 11 and it's sunny but the next day it tends to be overcast or even raining I'm going to put the fences around obviously you can use whatever you like I'm going to try and put the fences around although apparently it doesn't like that you don't have to use corner pieces at the corners you can just use the I have no idea why it's misbehaving I'm pretty certain I built this in exactly the same order it is just contrary sometimes Obviously I have this little bit here which I didn't have in the previous build so you might want to raise the floors a little. Um, I still have a problem with the bulldozer not working very well at this location. I'm assuming it doesn't work very well at any location. going to bother with corner pieces because it was being tricky I'm going to just ignore them <laughs> um, there you have it 
so you're completely enclosed and as I said the gate seems to go on if this piece is here if you take this piece away the gate disappears I did put these concrete steps all the way around. Also clears the area a little bit around here, it clears some of the scrub. Just need to put doors on. Under here. I like this door. And an internal door for the bathroom. So there you have it, that is pretty much the entire build. Um, the rest is decorative, which I will cover next week. Oh, I forgot the door up here. And I forgot the bit, railing. You can obviously put whatever kind of railing you like around here. Um, what I did was I used these fences to match the downstairs. They will not snap. But, if you are careful, it's always tricky doing this, but if you are careful, it's tricky lining it up so it's straight, really. Um, you can, they will snap to each other. And this one is always the tricky one. You know if it's not lined up, if this won't snap in. And as you can see, actually, it is going at an angle that way. So we can try again. And I think the reason this won't go is this needs to go out a little bit. Although apparently it's going to be a big pain because I'm vi recording a video. Which Murphy's Law always applies when, when making videos, just so you know, if you want to be a YouTuber, if anything can go wrong, it definitely will go wrong while you're filming. And it still won't go on. <laughs> But you get the idea. Oh, there we go. We can do that. We'll cheat. <laughs> um, I've, in, I've enjoyed working with the glass pieces. This is literally the first time I used them. I got them on Tuesday night. George, my muse, and I did all the weeklies and all the dailies in two hours. And it was exhausting. But for some bizarre reason this week there was only in the weeklies do one daily op I was expecting to have to do five on Tuesday night but I only had to do one so that that saved me quite a bit of time and effort <laughs> um, they are really attractive these glass pieces they are better than the ones in Fallout 4 they're much newer looking um, somebody asked me because I said in a previous video I wanted to know if you could put wallpaper on them which which seemed an odd question to them but it occurred to me if you could put wallpaper on a glass window you could turn 
your pieces around so they were inside out and have wallpaper on the outside. I'm, I'm curious what would happen, what they would look like on the inside. Maybe we'd actually get an actual white wall but they'd, they'd probably be transparent but you can't put wallpaper on them so it's irrelevant now. <laughs> but that was the first thing I tried when I got them. So, um, But they are very attractive. The only thing I will say is make sure you have plenty of glass because you do need glass to build these. Um, although I collect a lot of stuff on all my characters to build, mostly through sort of using scrapper and scrapping all the guns, um, going around and doing, you know, resource runs. Glass is not something I have a huge amount. If you see, I have 10,000 steel on Scarlet, but I only have 739 glass. So get out and start scrapping all those bottles. <laughs> So here is our build, all complete, apart from the decoration. As I said, I'm calling this the Barn Dominium, but when I originally built it, to me it looked like a converted chapel. Um, my mum is Scottish and I spent a lot of my childhood in Scotland um, with my granny um, during the school holidays and there are lots of little Kirks around that, that to, this reminded me of that so that might not translate in America so for you guys is a barn dominium <laughs> our barns don't look like this in the UK <laughs> but it is a converted building um, that's the premise behind it that somebody has found an old rundown building and done it up into a living a living space so Right, next project, project's coming up. I think next week I'm going to st make a start on doing an episode of Nora's Pharmacy because they're role play, because things can go wrong, because I'm trying to be funny and sometimes I'm not funny and it's all ad-libbed and role play. It does take longer to edit. I'd also like to do a little intro like I did with Nora's Kitchen because I still love that. Although that does involve me logging into both my Xboxes at the same time and filming myself with from one character to another which can be complicated especially when you throw in things like the weather and all the other stuff that we have to deal with. I am planning a new build uh, next week on my main character. With all the sort of rustic stuff that we've had in the Atom Shop I don't feel that I've fully explored that and I really want to do sort of not a hunting cabin, but um, like an upmarket kind of ranch style build. I've seen something I like on Pinterest. I have started getting my pin, pin boards together, so I will put the link down below um, with this video. And um, I want to try something I haven't seen done yet, but given the things that I've built in the past, I think should work which is I'm planning to build a bay window so that's the planning <laughs> haven't tried it yet so we'll see how that works out um, and after that I had an idea I found a location um, I thought would make a really good sort of hidden preppers camp that's kind of a scrappy build and as you know I, I'm not really scrappy I kind of edge on it sometimes with like the water mill but I might give that a go so that's a maybe at the moment um, and of course I will be back next time to have a look at different op different options for this build and to decorate it so that will be part two of the barn dominium so that's all from me today thank you for watching